So my asshole was bleeding. Um, continuing on. Uh, we're supposed to go to the library, I'm guessing. Alright, there we go. That was, um, a very uncomfortable shit. So, hooray, library. Cool. Alright then, let's talk it over, guys. <sighs> it's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. What about you, Hifumi? I'm absolutely shocked! How come? Damnation! They have all these books here, and not one copy of any of my works! Okay. <sighs> well, yeah. Why would they have comics in the- Well, we do have actual comics in our library, so... I don't know how it works in Japan, but... Our, li our library has comics. Not only that, we also have video cassette tapes, uh, VHSs, DVDs, whatever. So, uh, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about here, unless Japanese libraries are completely different. <laughs> Plus, most fanfic is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. Uh, nope, that's only the Sonic fanbase. <laughs> yeah, I... No, sorry. I just don't get it. Not at all. You just... Oh, sorry. You just don't get it. You know. <laughs> I do, too, get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell that nothing you do is worthwhile. <laughs> Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author! No, no, no. Now hear this! Appearances mean nothing at all! What you say before you is nothing more than a rind that contains the meaty plump of my genius! My creations are what determines my meaning and value! If I want Naruto-chan to hook up with Sasuke-kun, then that is my goddamn business! You are so f full of it. <laughs> <sighs> I'm used to being misunderstood. You think that your attacks like yours will drop my HP? No, but I could destroy your laptop, which is an HP model, if you want. <laughs> um, those two really worry me. <laughs> so that was that. I don't want to talk to you, but what the fuck do you have to say? Hmm. Uh, fine, I'll give his North. But still, his library is most interesting. Huh. What's interesting about it? I wasn't talking about you! Stop oh. talking. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Okay. So is that really it? Just libraries of books? The shelf is tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. It looks like this library's been neglected for a pretty long time. As a nice... As nice as the school itself is, whoever is in charge of upcoming has been pretty lazy. Strange. Nice! I got a coin. Um, triangle, I guess. Oh my god, that's a lot of shit to deal with! Do I really have to talk to her for another dialogue? You m must be... Oh, sorry, that's, him. that's me. You must be pretty happy to have all these books around you, huh, Toko? N not p particularly. Nothing really caught my... Oh my god, you're a picky reader, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Indeed. There's a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. You know nothing! Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? Mm -hmm. Comic books? Young adult? That stuff's a waste of time. Yep, you're not. You're so dead. Togo, you are fucking dead! Hmm. I've seen what you write, Miss Fakua. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. Oh, we're gonna have like a fucking nerd out here. <laughs> Epic rap battles of history! <laughs> uh, my stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to that garbage of yours. Did you write Twilight? Did you write Twilight? Because if you did, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. I'll shove your ball sacks into your mouth and choke those bitches. Your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Whereas books are literally all about jumbled up letters. That's saying something. Someone should just burn it all. God, don't we have such an elitist in here, don't we? Ooh, the lady doth protest too much? Me thinks. I bet you're secretly into boy on boy action. Boy on boy? I don't care if it's an anime or comics or fanfics or whatever. It's all filth, 
throw away culture that'll be trash and forgotten in half a decade. Uh, hey, um, the entire population of Japan called. They want their... Yeah! Ugh, just talking about it makes me so sick to my stomach. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, keep talking about comic books, guys. Uh, uh, Super Bank can beat Goku. Yeah! <laughs> Grr, you've insulted me, and you've insulted my honor. These two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like it. Is that really it? Okay. Alright, what am I missing here? A door? Uh, a laptop? Okay. Looks like a laptop. No shit. <laughs> laptop looks pretty old. And it's covered in dust. But good boy, does it run Crisis 3! So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use this to go online and see what's going on outside the world. It's broken, there's nothing I could really do about it. Goddamn, he's one step ahead of everything. I can't examine that clock, really? Okay. Uh, what about... Okay, fine, the security camera, I guess. How long am I gonna be stuck here, being watched by all these cameras? Who the fuck knows, dude? No, not you! I... Oh, okay. What's behind this door? It's some kind of archive. All I saw was a stack of old books and files. I can't imagine what business you would have in there. That's true. I don't really have any interest in checking it out. Uh, what else am I missing here? Alright, that thing and more books. I'm starving for information from the outside world. If only there was TV that worked. And I guess more books. Or is it going to be the same shelf as pack of books? But looking at it, the whole thing is incredible. Okay, so yeah, it's, a, it's the exact same thing. Except I get money. Okay. Just one measly coin. Not like that matters too much. Um, anything on the... I can't examine that. Okay, so... Now what? I think there might still be... What the fuck is there? Oh, that letter thing, I'm guessing? Alright. No, not... Mm. God damn, this thing is too damn sensitive. Uh, there we go. I think. There we go. The shelf is covered in dust, but on a shelf is a letter. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we go see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Makoto, listen to the lady already. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written in there. From the Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been com mm. Excuse me. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an intuition of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope's Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history. For the time being, this decision was not an easy one to make. But serious issue, but serious, but serious issue beyond our control, made it have made it necessary. But make no mistakes, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure has been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now, and I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operation. What does this mean? <laughs> Hmm, the contents of the letters are quite interesting, indeed. It would seem... It would seem that Hope's Academy, uh, Hope's Peak, has stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say the letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's Peak Academy closed down at least a year ago? Most likely, the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But, but that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, wouldn't you think it would have been all in the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school, and never saw anything about this. So in other words... That must have all been part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. So 
someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hmm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However... If it is real though, this does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hmm. That would be a nice simple solution. It's true. But then, what about this other part? This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure had been resolved. What did they say mean what did they mean by serious issues? Th that's apparently why the school had to be closed. Is there anything connecting between that and what's happening to us now? No. Yeah. If the two events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find ooh, until we find more details. Hmm. So in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here. Will that be enough to get us out of here? Or is that it? <laughs> I guess that's it. All right. Um, we're done here. I guess. Now what? Nope. Square. Got it. Do we travel anywhere else now? Or apparently there's still more shit to do at the library. What the fuck am I missing? Well, if that's the case, then well, why did the game let, let allow me to have the option to get out of here? You guys have more dialogue, or are you just gonna spot the same shit? Whew. It's remarkably okay. Yeah, so it's nothing new here, is there? So I'm just gonna assume that we're done here, unless there's another exclamation mark somewhere around here. Let's see here. I'm not seeing anything so far. I haven't gone downstairs yet. Maybe we could do that. Who the fuck knows? Um, where's downstairs again? Is it um this door? I'm gonna assume it's this door. It's open for a reason, right? I should look around the school. I need to find out what Monokuma. Okay, so we still have something to do in the uh, new world, I guess. Maybe I just need to explore the second floor more often, and I'm done with the library. All right. Let's examine the girls' locker room. This is the girls' bathroom. If I ever took one step in here, I'd be uh, become a total creep in everyone's eyes, and that would be it for me. Anything inside here? That should be, uh, wondering about. Looks like any other bathroom. There's the piss, there's the urinal. This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful in here. Any coins that I can gather up? That's really it? <laughs> Come on. All right, let's leave the area. Or are there any other doors around here aside from the classroom? This one's just an empty hallway, so that's uh, no other place. We okay, let's examine this place. There's a third floor. Okay. Oh, I can't search apparently. God damn it! All right. Um, oh shit, there's a classroom I missed. The also, there's a... Do I have to go in there? That's my guess. I have to go inside that door to see what's up. That's my only... Uh... That's the only case, I'm guessing. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, I, I'm done with this room then. That's what I'm guessing. There's a classroom here that I have... Uh gone into yet, so let's do that. Oh, hey, uh, Sakura. I see. This must be what he meant by a new world. Huh. I should probably take a really close look around. Okay. So, I see ya. <laughs> I don't care if there's, like, money around here. It's only, like, one coin, right? So it doesn't matter. Um, what the hell is this room? The pool. Alright, more people are on here. Second. 
Oh, Makoto, hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool! There's a pool here! A pool, 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 pool! You don't have to keep repeating it, I got it. And and there's a ton of exercising equipment in there, in the locker room. Sakura's gone, go, gotta go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. He just seems way more excited than usual. Alright, there's a fucking laser gun! <laughs> I'm kinda worried about that. Is that a real gun? It's not like we're at war here. Why would they need something like that here? Guessing another way to murder someone. Or execute them. Um... <laughs> Behind this door is... The locker room? Mm -hmm. This is the girls' locker room? A true gentleman will respect our space, yes? Alright. Behind this door is the locker room? Yeah! Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course! Really, really? Oh. What? Hmm. If you wanna unlocker the locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh -huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can... Okay, same goes for the girls. Okay, good. If it's like, the boys are only allowed to go to the guy's locker room, but the girls can go in there, that'd be fucking bullshit, but... Okay, we have equal right rights. That's good. And that's the bottom line. Hmm, huh. but what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. See that cattling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? It'll be all taka 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 taka. Just a second. I bet it really hurt if I to get shot by that thing. Um, um no, I think it'd be a little worse than that. <laughs> but what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? <laughs> what? That never even. Well, thanks a lot, Celeste. To think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. But at the same time, it is consensual, right? Hmm? Well, then again, if they steal it, then that then that definitely is not consensual. Hmm, okay, then how does this sound? Time for an- Fuck. <laughs> As of this moment, loading your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> there, so now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm a genius, right? It's cause my brain is 100% cotton. Honestly. I do not imagine anyone would have the- have lent their handbook out of in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that the person might be using in the handbook. So, um... But, you know, you seem awfully concerned of all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's cause all you teenagers are sex crazed maniacs. You're at the age where you try humping a plastic bottle. Dude, you seen that YouTube video? So, to keep maintaining anything unseemingly. Oh shit, how long have been recording? Holy crap, hold on a minute. I'm gonna record for a while, so I need to make, take a real quick break. Uh, 45 minutes. Yeah, we'll take a quick break right here. So, let's be right back. Stay tuned for the next episode of Danganronpa.